All right, so when I create a new food plot like this, this is part, part of the process. Be All right, uh, day nine. I think he's going to be done down here already. Let's see. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. So this is the final day of the land clearing project. It's been about almost three weeks. It took a little bit longer than expected. This is the second to last food plot. This is kind of an overflow clearing. This is going to be more for turkey hunting in the spring, this particular one. So I'll take you through. I'll show you a couple after looks at some of these fields and we'll go catch the very last clearing and uh, see how this project is going to wrap up. Alright, so I just met with the DNR guy. We gotta pull a few more trees out of one of the clearings. And now I'm going to meet the excavator. We're trying to get a road up to a ridge top, and it looks like we're gonna have to nix that. So we're gonna reroute our road and uh, just try to get a kind of a path that we can still use on a smaller piece up in the front. in the woods it's the final clearing on the north end of the property um, man he he's had three trees come through the windshield already on this project it's dangerous stuff um, yesterday's could have come in and you know thought it took the windshield out that that could have hurt him bad but that's why they got safety windshields on them this is a trail that I made connected all the way from east to west the excavator and of course I strategically put this this spot on there this this new clearing on this trail on a ridge top it's actually on a little bit of a slope off of a ridge top but this is where I cut through that rock shelf up on top Looks like he's pushing that way. I'm gonna go around here. This one's gonna be a small, small clearing. Like 0.6 of an acre. Man, I don't have plenty of rope for Last one. Alright, just pull it. Alright, headed up. Well, we're already here, but we're at the north end. A new clearing for a couple reasons. If we were to sell a chunk of ground, it's nice, and then it could be a staging plot. If, if and when I get corn and beans in here, it'll be a nice little staging plot. So uh, let's find our way in here and check it out. See how he's doing. This one's probably pretty rocky, so that's why it's going a little slow. He's been at it all day. He looks like he might be done slicking it off here. So that road that I cut like three, four months ago, all the way from my driveway, comes in right up in here somewhere. Just putting the pieces together. 
yeah, this is a pretty, I mean, boy, this would be a great little cabin site or something, too. But very nice. Yeah, he's slicking it off. This is just would be a staging plot if a guy wanted a plot in here or something. Alright, so when I create a new food plot like this, this is part, part of the process, beginning the um, soil preparation. So I'll run the heavy drag. This is a Delta S3 Harrow. I love this thing. I'll run the drag first to loosen up the dirt and fill in some potholes, and then I'll go ahead and seed it, and I'll run the drag a second time um, to cover up the seed and fertilizer if I fertilize on that particular segment. All right, it's good and it, this is really moist. Now, I tried to avoid the big stuff in that. Could, it, could you come in here and grapple this and hand pick it? Yeah, absolutely. If you only had one or two plots and you had the time, but it's kind of time management thing for me, you know, because we got too many marbles in the bag and the bag's about to break. So I'm gonna skip the grapple part, but it's still gonna grow fine. We're gonna get some wheat in the mix in here and start working on this soil. So even for this, this fall and two three weeks with this moisture it should be a good plot but i'm looking for next spring and next fall so we're cheating a couple steps but it'll work out just fine as long as you got moisture to be 0.6 that's heavy but you got to plant it heavy in situations like this all right I gotta go drag a plot I dragged it once actually twice dragged it twice uh, now I seeded it now I'm gonna drag it again cover the seed up it's pretty rough and rocky But it'll grow. The dirt's pretty good. The dirt is pretty good. Alright, I love little hidden plots like this. Way out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, I'm going to run the drag again here. Jam out. Beautiful. Drag and I put my Polaris in uh, sport mode, four wheel drive, and uh, try to just go pretty easy. There's a lot of obstacles in here. So if there's a stick sticking up that'll go through a radiator or something, I just try to just go around that. Around it or, or where the tires hit it, and then the drag will knock it down further. That's the plan. Looks like we might have a couple guys hunting this, this fall here. Let's see how things go. See there's one sticking up. I'll just go right next to it. Avoid it. Alright, I'll keep rolling. Alright, here's the after look. Visualize a nice green carpet. Got steep ridges all around where them deer are gonna hide. You ain't gonna have no hikers or trespassers in there. This dirt is really moist. It's good dirt. This should work out. I'll clean that out with when I get back to the tractor.
Okay, so here's a look at one of these new clearings as of today, October 22nd. 24 which when, when I'm posting this video so it's beautiful I planted this literally three or four weeks ago it germinated and then we got hit with a severe drought uh, but just today me and Phil were in here we got this beautiful new blind leveled out uh, this particular new one is the one with the new watering hole which is of course bone bone dry um, but I'd have it dissed up. I dissed up half of it. I'm going to replant it here in the next couple days and wait for the next rain because I'm using uh, cereal grains, <clears throat> you know, like winter wheat, winter rye, and oats. They will germinate all the way down to like 40 degree uh, soil. So they will grow throughout the fall. It's a shame I gotta, you know, redo my work, but I can't control the rain. So anyways, these plots are beautiful. Stay tuned for the full cost share because we should be getting a check any day now for the almost $10,000. And I'll explain how all this works in a, in a video episode coming out soon. So thanks for joining us. Hope you have a great evening. Until next time, take care. I'm just getting an overview of this one. I hope that pond holds water. And B-roll. Yeah, I hope that pond holds water. That is such a nice setup. <laughs>